Thurgood Marshall Airport IATA, BWI, ICAO, KBWI, FAA LID, BWI is the primary international airport serving the Baltimore metropolitan area and one of three major airports that serves the Baltimore-Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Located in an unincorporated area of Anne Arundel County, the airport is 9 miles 14 kilometers south of downtown Baltimore and 30 miles 48 kilometers northeast of Washington, D.C. It is the busiest airport in Maryland, handling more passengers than all airports serving the Baltimore-Washington metropolitan area. It is commonly referred to as BWI or BWI Marshall. The airport is named after Thurgood Marshall, a Baltimore native who was the first African American to serve as a justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. This airport also has a heavy population base from the Washington metropolitan area and Harrisburg metropolitan area. BWI is a focus city for Southwest Airlines, and is the second largest airport by number of departures for that airline after Chicago Midway. With a 71% market share in 2014, BWI also serves as a fortress hub for Southwest, and a small regional hub for Southern Airways Express. A record 25.1 million passengers traveled through BWI in 2016, an increase of 5.45% over the previous year. BWI was ranked as the 23rd busiest airport in North America and the 75th busiest airport in the world in 2014 by the number of passengers. BWI covers 3160 acres, 1279 hectares of land. In 2010, BWI was ranked as the best airport of its size, 15 to 25 mil passengers in the world by the Airports Council International based on its 2009 Airport Service Quality Survey. The airport also was ranked second for North American airports in the Best Food and Beverage Program of the 2010 Richard A. Griesbach Excellence in Airport Concessions Contest, sponsored by the Airports Council International. Police services are provided by the Maryland Transportation Authority Police. History Early years Planning for a new airport on 3,200 acres 1, hectares to serve the Baltimore, Washington area began just before the end of World War II. In 1944, the Baltimore Aviation Commission announced its decision that the best location to build a new airport would be on a 2,100-acre tract of land near Linthicum Heights. The cost of building the airport was estimated at $9 million. The site was chosen because it was a 15-minute drive from downtown Baltimore, close to the Pennsylvania Railroad Line, the Baltimore and Annapolis Railroad Line, and the proposed Baltimore-Washington Parkway, and visibility was generally good. An alternate site along Governor Ritchie Highway at Furnace Branch was rejected by the United States War Department, and another possible site at Lippins Corner was deemed too far from Baltimore. The State Aviation Commission approved of the Linthicum Heights site in 1946. Much of the land was purchased from Friendship Methodist Church in 1946, and ground was broken on May 2, 1947. Friendship Methodist Church held its last service on Easter Sunday in 1948. Friendship Methodist Church was raised to make room for the new airport. In addition, several pieces of land were bought, and 170 bodies buried in a cemetery were moved. Baltimore Fort Meade Road was moved to the west to make way for the airport's construction. Friendship International Airport was dedicated on June 24, 1950, by U.S. President Harry S. Truman. At the time, it had the only commercial jet service in the Baltimore Washington metropolitan area. Truman arrived in the then official presidential plane independence from nearby Washington National Airport carrying the governor of Maryland, William Preston Lane Jr., and Baltimore Mayor Thomas D'Alessandro Jr. on his first aircraft flight. The total cost to construct the airport totaled $15 million. The following month the airlines moved to the new airport from the old Baltimore Municipal Airport also known as Harbor Field in southeast Baltimore at 39.25 degrees north 76.53 degrees west, 39.25, minus 76.53. Eastern Airlines flew the first scheduled flight, a DC-3, into the airport at 12.01 a.m. on July 23, 1950. 
Seven minutes later, the same plane was also the first flight to depart from the airport. 300 people came to watch the first flight arrive and depart. The official airline guide for April 1957 shows 52 weekday departures, 19 Eastern, 12 Capital, 8 American, 4 National, 3 TWA, 3 United, 2 Delta, and 1 Allegheny. Miami had a couple of non stop flights, but westward non stop flights did not reach beyond Ohio. Baltimore's reach expanded when jet service started. The early Boeing 707s and Douglas DC-8s could not use Washington National Airport and Washington Dulles International Airport did not open until 1962, so Baltimore became Washington's jet airport in May–June 1959 when American and TWA began transcontinental 707 flights. 1970s to 1990s The Maryland Department of Transportation purchased Friendship International Airport from the city of Baltimore for $36 million in 1972. Under MDOT, the Maryland State Aviation Administration took over airfield operations and grew from three employees to more than 200. Plans to upgrade, improve, and modernize all Maryland airport facilities were announced almost immediately by the Secretary of Transportation, Harry Hughes. In order to attract passengers from the Washington metropolitan area, particularly Montgomery and Prince George's counties, the airport was renamed Baltimore – Washington International Airport, effective November 16, 1973. The first phase of the airport's modernization was completed in 1974 at a cost of $30 million. Upgrades included improved instrument landing capabilities and runway systems, and construction of three new air cargo terminals, expanding the airport's freight capacity to 2.53 acres (1.02 hectares). The terminal renovation program was complete in 1979, the most dramatic work of the airport's modernization, which was designed by DMJM along with Peterson and Brickbauer. The BWI terminal more than doubled in size to 14.58 acres 5 hectares. the number of gate positions increased from 20 to 27. The total cost was $70 million. To continue the work, the BWI Development Council was established to support initiatives for airport development. The BWI rail station opened in 1980, providing a connection for passengers on the Northeast Corridor through Amtrak. BWI was the first airport in the U.S. with a dedicated intercity rail station. In particular, the station provided rail transit access to Washington, D.C., something that Dulles will not have until 2020 at the earliest. In 1997 a new international terminal Concourse e, designed by STV Group and William Nicholas Boduva and Associates, was added, though Dulles continues to hold the lion's share of the region's international flights, and BWI has not attracted many long-haul international carriers. The first transatlantic nonstops were on World Airways about 1981, British Airways arrived at BWI a few years later. Air Lingus, Air Jamaica, Air Aruba, Air Greenland, El Al, Ghana Airways, Icelandair, KLM, Air Canada Ladeco, and Mexicana previously flew to BWI. Military flights, operated by the U.S. Air Force's Air Mobility Command, continued to have a significant presence at BWI. In the first half of the 1990s, runway 15L-33R was extended 1,800 feet (550 meters) from 3,199 feet (975 meters) to its current length of 5,000 feet (1,500 meters), allowing it to be used by small passenger jets like the Boeing 737. Beginning in the 1980s and for much of the 1990s BWI was a hub for Piedmont Airlines and successor U.S. Airways, but that airline's financial problems in the wake of the dot-com bust, the September 11 attacks, and low fare competition forced it to cut back. The airport has been a haven for low-cost flights in the Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area since Southwest Airlines' arrival in September 1993 and subsequent expansion in the early 2000s. Southwest is the airport's largest carrier, accounting for 56.12% of passengers carried in 2011. Southwest Airlines currently serves on average 245 daily departures to the U.S., Mexico and the Caribbean. Topic. 2000s present To accommodate Southwest's extensive presence at the airport, in 2005 concourses A and B were expanded, renovated, and integrated with one another to house all of that airline's operations there. 
This new facility, designed by Ors Corporation, opened on May 22, 2005. On October 1 of that year, the airport was renamed again, becoming Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, to honor former U.S. Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, who grew up in Baltimore. On August 5, 2014, little used runway 04 22 was permanently closed. It was only 6,000 feet 1,829 meters long and used primarily when the main runways needed to be closed for repairs. The last operation on the runway was a Southwest Airlines flight from Chicago Midway that arrived at 4.18 a.m. The airport has been a backdrop in numerous films, including The Silence of the Lambs, Goldfinger, Broadcast News, Home for the Holidays and Twelve Monkeys. In late 2008, Health Magazine named BWI the second healthiest airport in the United States. In 2009 the airport had a 6% increase in air travelers due to the proliferation of discount flights. In a 2009 survey of airport service quality by Airports Council International, BWI was the world's top-ranking airport in the 15 to 25 million passenger category. BWI also ranked 7th, in medium-sized airports, based on customer satisfaction conducted by J.D. Power and Associates. In early 2016, a partnership between the airport and Towson University's WTMD radio station announced a new concert series that will take place at the terminal's baggage claim on the lower level. The local bands of Y Oak, Arboretum, and Super City. This new series follows the release event of Animal Collective's new album Painting with on November 25, 2015, where the new album was streamed throughout the airport. Terminals Baltimore – Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport has five concourses, though concourses A and B were essentially merged into a single concourse in the renovations completed in 2005. The Maryland Aviation Administration has its headquarters on the third floor of the terminal building. <laughs> Passenger concourses Concourses A and B have 25 gates, A1, A11 and B2, B15. Southwest is the only tenant of concourses A and B. Concourse C has 14 gates, C1, C14. The tenants of the concourse are American and Southwest. Concourse C is connected to concourses A, B by a secure connector. Concourse D has 24 gates, D1, D5, D7, D8, D10, D16, D20, D26, D29, and D36, D37. It serves Air Canada Express, Alaska Airlines, Allegiant Air, Contour Airlines, Delta, JetBlue, Southern Airways Express, Southwest, international arrivals that are not pre-cleared, Spirit, and United. The far end of Concourse D is built at ground level to serve small regional planes. Gates D1, D3, and D5 are international swing gates generally used by Southwest Airlines and Spirit Airlines for non-precleared international arrivals. These swing gates can serve both domestic and international passengers. Concourse D is connected to Concourse E by a secure connector. Concourse D originally housed Piedmont Airlines hub at BWI. Concourse E has five gates, E1, E3, E4, E6, and E8, officially known as the Governor William Donald Schaefer International Terminal. It serves British Airways, Condor, Iceland Air, Southwest international arrivals that are not pre-cleared and WOW Air. All international arrivals from non-pre-cleared destinations and all charter airlines are handled at Concourse E. The Air Mobility Command has a post in Concourse E flying active service troops out to military bases, usually at Ramstein, Germany and in Serlik, Turkey through Atlas Air Boeing 747-400s and Omni Air International Boeing 777-200 ERs. Cargo concourse The airport's cargo concourse covers a 395,000 square feet square meters area. Its facilities include a 60,000 square feet 5, square meters cargo building in the midfield cargo complex, a foreign trade zone, a 17 acres 6 .9 hectares air cargo ramp, and ramp parking for 17 aircraft with direct nose in access for eight freighters.
Topic: Airline lounges. British Airways contracts the Chesapeake Club Lounge in Concourse E, near entrance to the concourse, for use by its elite and Club World passengers. The USO operates a lounge on the lower level of the terminal between the concourses D and E baggage claim for United States military personnel and their families. Airspace Lounge opened in Concourse D near Gate D10 on May 7, 2011, but closed on May 27, 2016. A new lounge will take its place in mid to late 2017 under the club branding, and will be accessible to Priority Pass members. Terminal improvements On April 30, 2013, the airport opened a new Concourse C security checkpoint, with nine security lanes, the most at the airport. The airport also widened Concourse C, built a new Concourse A, B, C connector, and added additional concessions. The Federal Aviation Administration is currently in the process of designing a new air traffic control tower that will replace the current tower. The new tower is estimated to cost between $21 million and $26 million and be 228 feet 69 meters tall. There is no estimated construction start date. On July 12, 2013, BWI Airport and the Maryland Aviation Administration launched a three-year, $125 million construction project. This project included modernizing Concourse D, a new airside connection linking Concourse D and E, a new TSA security checkpoint, and the addition of three international swing gates to allow additional international flights. New restaurants, shops, and a new children's play facility were also added to Concourse E. The project began in late 2014, and was completed in fall 2016. A $60.3 million expansion to Concourse E was announced in February 2017. The enhancements include 70,000 square feet of new terminal space and six additional international gates. The airport is aiming at getting new service to Asia and additional service to Europe in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Passenger <laughs> 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 Topic Cargo Topic Statistics With winds from the north or the west, aircraft will generally land on runway 33L and depart on runway 28. When the winds are from the south or the east, arrivals are on runway 10 and departures are on runway 15R. Use of the smaller parallel runway 33R, 15L, is restricted to smaller propeller-driven aircraft and small corporate jets. The largest planes that land at BWI regularly are Boeing 767s, McDonnell Douglas MD-11s, and Boeing 787s. Because of the many cargo and charter operations at BWI, it is common to see one or two Boeing 747s or Boeing 777s on a daily basis as well. Runway 1028s was closed for a 60-day period that began on August 20, 2012 to update and implement safety requirements for runway safety areas established by the Federal Aviation Administration. For the 12-month period that ended on December 31, 2017, the airport had 261,702 aircraft operations, an average of 717 per days, 83% air carrier, 12% air taxi, 5% general aviation, and less less than 1% military operations. In 2017, there were 47 aircraft based at the airport, 16 single-engine, 5 multi-engine, 25 jets, and 1 helicopter. As of January 2014, Southwest Airlines, including its subsidiary Airtran Airways, represents approximately 71% of passengers followed by Delta Airlines at 8%. Thanks to Southwest Airlines' success there, BWI is currently the busiest airport in the Baltimore-Washington area with 11,067,317 boardings in 2011. This is ahead of Dulles International Airport at 11,043,829 enplanements and in front of Ronald Reagan National Airport with 9,053,004 enplanements. 
On August 1, 2016, British Airways replaced the daily Boeing 767-300 with a daily Boeing 787-8, marking the first regularly scheduled Dreamliner service to the airport. Topic: <laughs> Top destinations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Airline market share. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Annual traffic. Topic: <laughs> 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 Ground transportation. BWI was ranked one of the top 10 easiest U.S. airports to get to by Aviation.com in 2007 and has a light rail station located in its main terminal. Topic shuttle services, taxis, and buses Passenger van service to and from the Eastern Shore and Western Maryland is available through Bayrunner Shuttle with services to and from BWI to Kent Island, Easton, Cambridge, Salisbury, Ocean Pines, and Ocean City for the Eastern Shore and Grantsville, Frostburg, Cumberland, Hancock, Hagerstown, and Frederick for Western Maryland. There are also numerous private car, rental car, and cab services, as well as shuttles that go to and from BWI to local hotels, Baltimore and Washington and their suburbs, and Central and Western Maryland. Bus service between BWI and the Greenbelt Station of the Washington Metro and Mark Camden Line is provided by WMATA's Metrobus on Route B30 every 60 minutes from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. on weekdays. No weekend or holiday service is provided. The regular fare is $7.50, and the disabled, senior citizens rate is $3.75, exact fare or the use of a WMATA Smartrip card is required. The Maryland Transit Administration's Bus Route 17 serves BWI 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. During the hours when the light rail operates, buses operate to the Patapsco Light Rail stop. When the light rail is not in service, buses operate to downtown Baltimore. The Maryland Transit Administration's Bus Route 99 serves BWI during peak periods every half hour on weekdays from 6.15 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. NB and 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 3.20 p.m. to 4.50 p.m. SB. Route 99 connects with the MTA Light Rail Station at BWI Business District and Baltimore Metro at Old Court Station, also serving UMBC, CCBC Catonsville, Catonsville, Security Square Mall, Woodlawn, Milford Mill and Randallstown. Route 99 also has express portions of the route on I-95 from BWI to UMBC and I-695 from Edmondson Avenue and Ingleside Avenue NB from CCBC Catonsville to Security Square Mall. MTA Commuter Bus Route 201 connects BWI with Arundel Mills, Burtonsville, Norbeck, Shady Grove Station, and Gaithersburg. Buses operate once an hour 4 a.m. to 6 p.m. eastbound, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. westbound, seven days a week. Fare is $5. The RTA 501, Silver Route operates between BWI, Arundel Mills Shopping Center, and the Mall in Columbia hourly at most times except overnight. Topic. Highway BWI is located at the southeast terminus of Interstate 195, a spur route providing connections to the Baltimore-Washington Parkway and Interstate 95. Topic. Rail BWI Rail Station is located about a mile from the airport terminal. The free BWI Marshall Airport Shuttle connects the train station and airport terminals. The station is served by Amtrak Northeast Corridor trains, including the partially high speed Acela Express and the Mark Penn Line. Travel time by train is about 20 minutes to Baltimore's Penn Station and 35 minutes to Union Station in Washington, D.C. Trains depart at least once an hour seven days a week, with departure times during rush hours and business hours being significantly more frequent. The Maryland Transit Administration's light rail line has a stop just outside the entrance to the airport's international terminal. 
Passengers can take the light rail to a variety of destinations in Anne Arundel County, Baltimore City, and Baltimore County, and can transfer to the Metro Subway in Baltimore, or to either of Mark's Baltimore terminals. A ride downtown takes approximately 30 minutes. Trains run every 20 minutes during peak hours, and 30 minutes all other times. In June 2007, the Maryland Department of Transportation, at the request of the Maryland General Assembly in 2006, commissioned a report on a proposal to extend the Washington Metro Green Line, from its current terminus at Greenbelt, through Howard County to BWI. Cycling <inaudible> 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 In August 2014, BWI launched a new bicycle sharing system with the Boston-based company Zagster. Located adjacent to the BWI Airport Light Rail Station, the bike sharing service connects terminal passengers to the nearby BWI Trail, as well as other local destinations. Other facilities Topic. Business district In 1985, the BWI Business District was established as a way to formalize businesses and hotels operating adjacent to the airport. The district comprises two smaller districts located to the north West Nursery Hotel district and West Stony Run district of the airport. Numerous traveler resources and employment centers are located within both districts, such as the BWI Rail Station and BWI Rental Car Facility in the Stony Run District, and the BWI Business District Light Rail Station, the NSA Friendship Annex, and dozens of hotel facilities in the West Nursery District. DHS, CBP facility A DHS facility is located in the lower level of the main terminal, near the International Arrivals Area, Concourse E Baggage Claim. This facility also includes a Global Entry Enrollment Center, as well as a TSA Pre-Check Enrollment Facility. Recreation <inaudible> 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 In the early 1990s, BWI Airport opened the Thomas A. Dixon Aircraft Observation Area at Friendship Park. The Observation Plaza features a playground and a terrace overlooking the southern approach to the airport's 15R33L runway. From this vantage point, several planes can be viewed simultaneously as they prepare for landing. The southern loop of the 13. 3-mile BWI trail travels through the park, providing cyclist and pedestrian access to the park. 